Hey guys, this is take two of my video. Um, somehow the autofocus got turned on in my camera, so I just did about 18 minutes of a close up of like right here. <laughs> oh, I need a new camera so badly so I can actually see what I'm filming. Um, anyway, it is week 54 since I started my pre op diet. Um, it's April 1st, and I want to just say in advance that this is not an April Fool's joke. Um, I weighed in this morning at 171.3, and for those of you paying attention, that is a loss of two pounds this last week, um, and it's a new low weight as well. Um, I didn't intend to lose weight this week, but I think it just happened by default because my 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 stock my food stock was a little bit low this week so I resorted I had a lot of um, just like plain chicken and plain beef and fish and uh, I wasn't able to eat as many nuts and whatnot that as I normally do and I was getting a lot of calories for that I still worked hard to keep my calories up um, with carbs and whatnot uh, but you know 1900 to 2000 Obviously, I need more than that to maintain, so, yeah, I gotta work on that, but I'll go shopping and fix that up. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I need coffee. I met with my family doctor, my GP, PCP, whatever you want to call it, yesterday. And just a little background on that, um, he's been my family doctor all my life, uh, and uh, he's one of those guys or, that I, the way I to explain it to you is he's basically lived that weight loss surgery lifestyle his entire life. He's never been overweight. He has a he has a very low body weight, uh, body fat percentage. He's a runner. Um, he calculates. He keeps track of all the food that he eats you know, roughly, um, and he calculates his burn from his exercise, and he eats his extra calories to make up for it. So he's basically lived like that his whole life. Um, and I wanted to ask him if he thought that I needed to lose more weight, because I really sort of value his opinion, um, you know, above anyone else, knowing me for so long, and, um, and the way that he lives his life. Um, and being a doctor and a cardiologist and uh, all these things that really sort of value his opinion. So I asked him if he, he thought I should I should lose more weight, and he said absolutely not. <laughs> I mean he wasn't trying to be nice or anything. He was actually almost upset with me that I would even think of it, um, because um, yeah, even though I'm not in that sort of BMI range where I'm quote unquote normal. Um, He looked at me and he saw my arms and my face and, um, you know, he, he had to check out my legs because, um, for edema and whatnot. Um, and I showed him my, my, all my loose skin because I needed a prescription for, uh, for some new cream for a rash that I've had sort of my midsection for like months and months and months and months and I can't seem to get rid of, um, so, I mean, he saw basically all of me, and, you know, he's, he said, you know, my, my body fat is actually pretty low, <laughs> uh, lower than most people for sure. Um, he called me, I think, an ectomorph, something like that, where I'm mostly muscle and skin, and um, whereas before I was mostly fat, and that was, a bit, that was about it. Um, but yeah, he saw all my skin and he said, you know, once that gets removed, I mean, we're talking at least 10 pounds there. Um, that's just if they do the panis area. I mean, if they do up in sort of the midsection, which needs to be done as well, and, you know, thighs and all the other stuff, we're talking it could be 20 pounds, like total extra skin on my body. So if I'm 171 and I've got 10 to 20 pounds of extra skin, then, you know, I am in a normal weight range. <laughs> um, 
so yeah it was it was good to hear that from someone that i trust and i'm taking it to heart and it really has helped me helped helped it sink in um i don't think that i'm too skinny um i think it's i think i'm good <laughs> uh, i do want to put on more muscle and with that comes some more weight and i'm okay with that but uh yeah i'm claiming it you know ahead of my one year uh surge anniversary which is tomorrow i am claiming goal um I had originally thought I would go lower, but uh, I've decided this is this is going to be it. The one seventies is going to be my range. I'm at the bottom end now, and uh, I need to work on my calories and uh, build up some muscle, and then you know I'll I'll I'm going to try that bodybuilder thing where you know you put on some extra weight and and you cut it back and go like this so you can put on some muscle. Um. So yeah. That's that's what I'm gonna be working at. I need to get in about four or five hundred more calories a day at least to be able to do that. And that would be something like up to like a pound gain a week is sort of what I'm looking for. Um, something like that. So yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, I asked him about a bunch of other things too. I asked him about my knees, uh, which have, which have been cracking a lot. And I was worried that if I get back on the bike or doing stuff like um, leg presses and squats that I would be further injuring my knees. And he said no. Um, I mean, I definitely have cartilage problems uh, because of carrying around all that extra weight. But it's not something that's going to be really exacerbated by working it. I mean, obviously I have to deal with the cracking sound, which is kind of hard and my hands falling asleep ah, so I'm gonna kind of switch here hopefully you can still see me um, but yeah he said not to worry about it um, it's not it's probably not something that's going to be made worse by my um, exercising my knees so biking is good he said actually biking is probably a good thing to do because it strengthens you know both your you know, upper leg and your sort of calf muscles um, to strengthen your joint area. So even though it's not going to help with my my, my noise, <laughs> um, it might help in the long run with just feeling stronger in the knees. And I sort of struggle with that now, especially when I do my power squats. Um, I don't go down far enough. Um, I definitely don't go down far enough where I can do a, a, like a dumbbell barbell rather a kind of squat um, so yeah so that's all good I also asked about my back um, as I mentioned before I've got a couple of vertebrae which kind of stick out in my mid back uh, so I asked him about that if there's something I should be avoiding or doing to help that and he said it's kind of just the way it is um, because I have the collapsed vertebrae and couple others that are kind of mouth shaped um, and my back is kind of curved as a result of that I guess as a sort of compensating effect some of those vertebrae have kind of bowed out um, in the mid back and there's not really anything I can do about it um, but that's good he said just to you know keep doing what I'm doing I don't have to worry about doing mat work and lying on my back and you know, lifting my back up or, or anything like that. It's not gonna, it shouldn't cause me injury. Obviously, if it starts to hurt while I'm doing it, that I should stop. So that's basically what I've been doing anyway. So that's all good. Um, everything else to the doctor was excellent. Uh, my blood work, I did a full blood work and full urine analysis and everything was absolutely, you know, I'm basically, the picture of health when you look at my uh, my results from that my my high cholesterol my bad cholesterol is um, extremely low my good cholesterol is high um, my fated protein which I guess is a measure of how well your kidneys are working is excellent um, which is good um, you know with all the uh, the medications that I take and everything else um, just that that's still Functioning is great. Um, 
yeah so my, my blood sugar also is 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 excellent um yeah it's all good there on the physicality front so i'm happy to hear that um what else happened this week um oh yeah my nephew mentioned that he was bringing some clothes to uh, the goodwill and i said uh you know what nick maybe just drop those off at my place and he's like seriously because <laughs> uh, i mean he knows obviously i've lost weight but not i guess hasn't realized that we're almost about the same weight now i mean he's a little bit taller than i am um and he's like a sporty type kid 19 years old but we're about the same size so i was like you know if they don't fit you or you don't like them they may work for me <laughs> so he brought over a huge bag of clothes and they all fit except for like one pair of jeans i think um and we're talking not just jeans these are 19 year old kids these are skinny jeans nothing that i would ever wear i mean maybe around the house or something I don't know, maybe not even that, but these are the, the, the like, basically sort of skin tight on the legs with that stretchy sort of jean material. Um, yeah, they all fit. The shirts, um, medium or large t-shirts, they fit. The mediums are a little more snug to my body, but honestly, they look fine, um, especially as like an undershirt for, you know, having a hoodie or a sweater over top it's absolutely fine um there were a couple of button-up shirts um they fit okay there's one button sort of in my lower stomach area that's sort of strained so i don't know if i would really wear those shirts in public um maybe if i like unbutton them just wear them as like a, a top or something but um yeah it's kind of nice I'm the same size as my 19 year old nephew. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, I also dropped off my niece's prom dress. Uh, talk about make me feel old, you know? I've got, I've got one nephew who's making me feel fit and a good size. And then I've got my niece who's a lot younger than he is. And she's going to prom, you know? She's heading off to college next year, so. Um, I also managed to buy myself some real jeans, some normal jeans, like a straight leg sort of Levi's, um, they fit great, um, size 33 and 34 in the waist, and I need to wear a belt on them as well, um, because even though they fit, then they fit, like, snug, not tight, but sort of snug around the waist, where they, you know, would stay up on their own, um, after I walk about 10 or 15 feet, they start to slide down. So, yeah, I have to go back to wearing a belt and some fenders or something. <laughs> Even though my jeans are fitting properly. Um, just because the, that loose skin in that area, I guess it's not really secure for the jeans. Um, but yeah, it feels good to have some new clothes to wear. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut it off there. Um, like I said, tomorrow is my one year post-op surgery anniversary, so I'll be doing another reflection sort of video then. And um, yeah, goal, claiming goal, 170s. It's kind of cool. Um, and it's also cool that I'm feeling okay with it. I don't feel like I need to lose more weight. Um, it's good, it's all good. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great week. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.